Good evening. Let's get right to it. There's a little bit to be leery of or at least cautious of coming up. We are under a wind advisory. Some high winds headed our way tomorrow morning, starting at 8 o'clock, lasting uh, throughout the daylight hours, even past sunset a little bit. This is for the viewing area in the tannish, brownish, including uh, Vigo County in Indiana. That advisory again goes into effect at 8 a.m. Otherwise, there are watches beginning tomorrow night at 6, lasting for the next 24 hours, a flood watch. The ground is hard, it has been frozen, and it's not going to let up anytime soon, even with the warmer weather, so that water has nowhere to go but to pool and cause some difficulties and potential flooding, of course. And then there's a winter storm watch. Again, this is only a watch, but it's in effect beginning Thursday morning, just after midnight, until 6 p.m., on Thursday, and that Maine, Pyatt, Macon, Christian, and further south, and everybody could be impacted by the possibility of snowfall and maybe even potential ice coming your way on Thursday. Uh, closer in time, overnight tonight, 40 degrees for the overnight low. We haven't even had highs like that for a while. Uh, until just recently, partly cloudy conditions, and most importantly, those winds. They're from the south, gusting it up to 25 miles an hour. That's uh, continued to be very, very windy, and that's why we are under that wind advisory. Let's take a look at Futurecast. Wednesday in the afternoon, we have some scattered pockets of precipitation. That will pick up and intensify. Wednesday evening at 7, we have uh, a couple of pockets of uh, potential intense rainfall, maybe even a thunderstorm or two as far as a possibility. And this continues to pick up toward the morning on Thursday, and it uh, is still going Thursday morning. Now, as far as that happening, it will be rainfall. And already by Thursday, uh, over the noon hour, we're looking at maybe even a couple of inches of rain uh, scattered throughout the area. And as we move to, um, actually, we're going to move you back just a little bit here. We're going to cover the day tomorrow as far as the day part. Look at those warm temperatures, uh, but look at the winds from the south, 10 to 15 miles an hour. We had listed a gust up to 35 miles an hour. Uh, now it's going to be a little more than that. 55, by the way, for the high tomorrow. Now look at those future wind gusts. Wednesday evening at 6, wind gusts of up to 40 miles per hour, as you see. And let's go now to our second part of Futurecast. This is Thursday morning at 8 o'clock. The pink indicates the possibility of some ice. That follows the temperatures which are falling after the rainfall. That's Thursday morning at 8 now. Uh, Thursday in the afternoon, that possibility of ice will be moving south, but look what's moving in. The potential for snowfall. It's very scattered, but perhaps in some areas, one to three inches of snowfall. And then a second wave of snowfall is coming your way Thursday afternoon into the early evening, and then it's out of the area as time passes. Wind gusts, though, can still be a problem Thursday evening. Uh, wind gusts of up to 40 miles per hour. And we leave you with our seven-day outlook showing a little bit of rebounding of the temperatures eventually as we move hopefully toward an early spring. Now back to the news.